Hey guys, welcome back. Um, did you know you could use channels in Photoshop as a way to create masks and then do something really cool with your image? Well, if you didn't, hang on and I'll show you how it's done. Let's go and have a look. So what this technique is going to show you is how we can change the color of that green cornfield in the foreground by using the pixels from one of the channels as a starting point for creating a mask that is applied to an adjustment layer that we're applying. Whoa! Okay, let, let me just show you what we're going to do. Jump into the channels and the first thing that I want to do is find the channel that has the highest contrast difference between that corn field in the foreground and the rest of the image. So just click some of these. So you'll see not a lot of contrast. The red channel has a little bit more but have a look, the blue channel has got quite a bit. So I'm now going to select all of those pixels from the blue channel and copy those and we'll deselect that so that we get rid of those marching ends and we'll click on the RGB channel again and I'm jumping to the layers. I'm now ready to add an adjustment layer and I'm going to do apply an adjustment layer for the hue and saturation because it's a nice way of showing you um, sort of like a creative effect that you can apply by changing the colors along the color wheel by shifting the hue. Okay, currently if I make some changes to the hue you will see that colors will change throughout the image everywhere. It's everywhere. Let me just return that to the way it was originally. What I want to do is those pixels that I copied earlier on, I want to use it as a mask. So I've got my mask in my adjustment layer selected and if we look at the channels that mask is also displayed right here. I'm going to, going to select it and just deselect the RGB for a bit and now paste those pixels into that mask. So what's happening here is this mask is currently saying wherever it's black don't apply the adjustment and wherever it's light or has lighter colors, do apply that adjustment. So it's actually doing the opposite of what I want it to do. So in the masks panel, what I'm going to do is click the invert button so that it actually swaps the effect around. Yeah. Now the other thing that I want to do is I want to enhance that contrast difference between that foreground area and that background area even more. And I can do that again by just working on that mask by applying uh, a simple levels adjustment is probably sufficient. So let's have a look. Let's clip that those highlights a bit. Well, actually, I should say the shadows because obviously we're looking at the mask. And let's have a look. I can open this up a little bit more. I guess you're starting to see, get the idea here a little bit. Click OK. And if I want to paint some of this away to make sure that the mask is fully applied to these areas in the image as well. I'm painting with white then that's going to you know have a, even more of an effect on those green areas in the foreground when I'm actually going to apply the hue saturation adjustment that I've just set. I'm going to switch that back on and return to my adjustment layer. So you now see that you know there's your mask and if I jump back to my adjustment I can now start to make some adjustments and they will have an effect on just the foreground. So I will pretend that you know it's been a drought which is really what we're having here in Western Australia. You can even increase the saturation. So you can make some it doesn't even look like corn anymore does it if we do that. You really make some cool colour shifts to through that cornfield. I'll push it all the way to the other end and purple it up a little bit. That's it. It's a very, very simple tip. I realise that. But it's just a cool technique that might be applicable to some of the jobs that you do. Enjoy!